Hello, hello, my melodies. Today, uh, I figured I would do a, a tiny little uh, binder update for everybody on the 151 and the progress. Um, I did this past weekend go to Peoria for regionals, so I'm still editing that video. I uh, tried to do a little bit of a vlog and then we got the new product for 151. Um, so I'm gonna open up some of that today, um, to hopefully add to the binder. Um, and then uh, hopefully next week, <laughs> maybe hopefully I'll find time at some point this weekend to uh, finish finish editing and finishing, trying to put that, that uh, piece together. I don't know. I took some video of, uh, of playing at the event and I'll give a whole rundown of, of how I did the deck that I played and all that other good stuff in that video. But in today's video, I wanted to um, do a little binder update. I had put it on a previous video and I asked if people wanted to see it and it seemed like it was going to do, um, or several people mentioned that they might want to see a binder. Let me see if this fits. It does fit. Okay. This is going to be a, an interesting, um, take on the uh on my video so let me know if you like it down below but we can see that uh still missing the the regular charizard there in the set um missing uh one of the like metapod uh missing an arbok um just like just random stuff and this is you know this is from my opening of uh of the different products previously and then you know when i was running around um, on release day with Real Breaking Nate. So here's the here's the binder update. Plenty of opportunities to add to the binder today. So um, loving, loving the artwork, loving the different uh, items. Bulbasaur is so cute. Still don't have any of the Squirtle um, line. We got a Caterpie over here. We've, we've been getting the, uh, the kind of the full arts. So that's always been good. We got Jinx. We got, uh, the basic energy over here and then, um, trying to do one of every, of uh, the energy. I am trying to take the, uh, the most swirls for myself. I think you can see at least in the water there, you can see the swirl. So if, uh, if I get a really heavy swirl energy to put in here, I, I need lightning. Um, so put that, uh, that'll, that'll join. And then, um, oh yeah. And then the promos as well. So we can see, I got the, the Charmander. Um, I did get the Bulbasaur somewhere. Where did I put the Bulbasaur? Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to find, uh, I'm gonna have to take a look to find that one. And then the, um, one of the boxes of course had the three there. So there we go. There is the the binder update. We'll uh, we'll take a look and or we'll open some packs. See if we can add anything to the binder. Um, I got the I got a couple of the tins. The tins have been doing really well for everybody. Um, and then the uh, Alakazam box. I figure I'd be like let's uh, let's keep it in the family. You know, basically we got we got psychics and 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 kind of ghost type telekinesis fun stuff. So uh, I'm gonna save the tins for last actually because the um, tins have been really good to me. I don't know, let me know in, in the comments below if you, the tins have been uh, doing any any good pulls for you. Um, but yeah, let's get into the Alakazam EX box. Um, haven't heard uh, too much from different people. Been trying to keep up to date from what other people are pulling if they're having having good pulls, good luck. I saw a lot of Mew EX at the uh, at Peoria. Definitely since it was the first weekend that it was legal to play, a lot of people wanted to you know, figure out and tech that into their deck. Um, let me see. I think. Yeah, I think I ran against uh, three different Mews throughout the day, which uh, I didn't realize until I got to the. Uh, let me see. I want to save that pro that that promo um, or the code card for myself to be able to grab these. But oh man, these are beautiful. Um, I just I love the patterns on the on the foil and all that other good stuff. So. Yeah, lots of lots of fun in the promos there. Let's see if that goes. Yeah. 
And then, did I put this backwards? I did, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fit it back together so it'll collapse into the trash can. Of course, you know what? There we go. <laughs> Problem solved over there. Problem solved for future me, right? Does, does anybody else do that? Like sometimes you just like, okay, hold on. This is gonna be, this is gonna be tomorrow me's problem. Uh, I'm sure there's other, I'm sure there's other people who do that. There's the code card for you on the first one. I'm not gonna do a roll of card or anything. We're we're trying to add to the binder today. So we got um, three of the. I guess it's just the promo. The other ones look like they're part of the normal set, um, but they are hollow. So I'm gonna put them in the back um, and then the um, the back of my binder where I put stuff. And then we have um, the actual promo, <laughs> which has a promo stamp. Um, okay, let's see. I don't know. I. I should have created a list before I started, but you know what? We're just gonna open and then we're gonna check. Oh, there's a Jinky Jinx EX. Um, I know we already have this one, so um, the first good pull of the day is going to go to Jinx. At least it's on brand of being, um, oh, I was gonna say at least it's on brand for being psychic, but apparently it's water. Okay then. Well, there's a water jinx in the MVP section, and we are going to get the party started over here. Um, oh, there's a Keegan hair. Don't pay attention to uh, the, key, <laughs> the Keegan hair. When I came to sit and uh, actually record this video, my um, one of my cats named Gideon was sitting on the chair, and it is a it's a black chair um, fabric, and he is a white and orange um persian so there was definitely some cat hair and i'm probably sitting on some cat hair right now um i tried to get it everywhere off it's still how did it come back why is it being blown back okay there we go uh, you guys don't care right L let me know if you have any pets like any type of pets i'm i love i love hearing or seeing different pictures of pets um they always bring, I mean, joy to my, myself, joy to others. Like, just beautiful, beautiful cats overall. Dogs. Um, I like all of the different types of lizards. Now, now you can you can send me pictures of your of your pet um, spiders. I it makes me pause, right? I mean, like it's it's in the back of your mind. Um, there's a reason that you, you kind of like the creepy crawlies, but, but I respect those who can love them, um, and have them love you. So <laughs> feel free to, uh, to talk about your, your pets below in the comments. Let me know, let me know their names. Let me know what their favorite treats are. Um, my, uh, my little kitty cats love the temptation treats. Uh, most of them are salmon salmon fans, seafood fans. Um, but yeah, I think one of them uh, was like in the new catnip flavor that just came out. I think there was like a Halloween. Um, it tried to be spooky. I don't, I, I don't get that. Like, is that, that's definitely playing towards the, uh, <laughs> the pet parents of the house with the different um, seasonal things. You know it doesn't taste anything that's themed. I I don't know. Is there a... Uh... No, I gotta look it up later. Okay. Is there a pumpkin, like, treat for dogs that, that come around in the season? Um, you can have your pumpkin latte and then everything, <laughs> everything with your uh, with your owners all themed, right? Once the Uggs come out, then you can have... Uh... <laughs> them all together. I don't know. I'm rambling not about Pokemon. Hopefully you guys are just here to have a good time, right? We're all here to, to hang out, relax. Um, it's the end of the day for me, so I am, I'm opening up some Pokemon cards to hang out with you guys and uh, stay on my schedule. That's the one thing that I, I try and do above all else in my, in my life. I, I like to be consistent. Um, of course, according to TikTok, that means that, uh, 
got a little bit of the little bit of the tism, a little bit of the ADHD, a little bit of everything else. I like how TikTok has become the the new age WebMD, um, right? Like, <laughs> so hopefully most of you get that reference, but like the we used to always go to WebMD and the website and you're like, oh no, okay, this symptom leads to this and leads to that. And it, it all ended up in cancer. I think at the end of the road, that was the, uh, the old way of doing our different like rabbit holes into the internet. Of course, you know, I grew up where you, you really had to search things out. Um, web 1.0 as they, uh, as they call it. But it was still intriguing enough for, for me to get into my career in IT. So having plenty of good times with my career as well. But I'm also very excited to share, you know, some Pokemon. Share some love of some of my hobbies with everybody. So, oh, I did not see the, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see the, the psychic coin. I tried to move, um... Cadabra out of the way. I almost said Alakazam, but he's only got one spoon over here, right? So that's Cadabra. Abra, Cadabra, and Alakazam. I wonder how many, uh, I wonder how many youngsters, oh, there we go. There's a good sign. We always love Squirtle. Um, I wonder how many youngsters these days don't know that Abra, Cadabra, Alakazam was the kind of fun, uh, magical phrase, turn of phrase for magicians back in the day. Boy, no, uh, no energies of, uh, fancy, uh, fanciness. And I also, and that, that 10 didn't do any, any good job for me. So, okay. We're going to do this Gengar. This Gengar is going to, uh, bring us back into the fold. If I can pop this open. Oh, okay. We got the dark type energy on that one. And it's a nice, it's a nice kind of blue, bluish black there. I like that a lot. Okay. I'm loving, I'm loving these little, these little additions in here. Usually it's a, a stickers or something lately. I like going back to these coins and I like, I like the idea of having the, the big coin there. And oh, I didn't even show it. But the uh, the artworks do line up. Um, trying to see which phrase it is. There we go. So there is all of the artworks. There are ten different tins with um, ten different types on the board. So there we go, and you can see it all kind of lines up. It's a fun pattern. I like these tins. I I like mini tins in general. So um, there is the Gengar information hiding in people's shadows at night to absorb their heat. The chill it causes makes the victims shake. Uh, I don't know why I said victims. I put an extra S in there, but... Gengar, oh no. <laughs> spooky. We are definitely entering spooky season. We are in fall. It's starting to... Uh, starting to get colder of course today was a beautiful like low 70s today so beautiful days out and just having good times i definitely i mean i i like colder weather i don't like the really hot summers but i uh, don't don't really like the cold cold weather um, boy i'm getting lots of dittos and still not another energy okay well um i don't think we're not getting any of the major pulls i need for the binder so this is a, it's kind of a bummer of a video today, but no, this is it. We're gonna get something for the binder that's amazing right here, right now. It's going to be, what are we, what is it gonna be? Um, alternate art, something or other, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be here, maybe this will be the God Pack, or a God Pack, who knows? There's um, where you can get like all the alternate artwork in one pack, that. Who knows? Well, I don't know if I'll ever get it. Okay, we got Cycling Road. Um, so not a God Pack yet, because I think it's all like all the spots. I think there might be something back there. I'm trying to peek. Uh, no, okay. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching today. <laughs> Silly little video. 
hearing me ramble about lots of different stuff. I, I appreciate each and every, each and every one of you. Um, thanks for watching. And we are ending on a Raichu and oh, a Venusaur EX. Okay. Well, at least it's another one for the trade binder so that we can work on completing our binder. But tune in next week um, for more 151 opening for sure. And hopefully I'll have that Peoria kind of vlog and talk about all the fun stuff that a regionals has um, and all the, all the shenanigans that happened there. So thanks for everything. And in the end, a little music goes a long way.